Okay, so day one was Shackleford Banks. And this is one of the islands, the only island of the three that we were looking at that you cannot drive on. So you have to take a ferry service. And this is a fun little ferry. You're out in the open, wind through your hair, all that kind of stuff. It's gorgeous. It's such a beautiful place to just kind of look around and see what's out there. One of the coolest things is when you get close to kind of the drop-off place, you get to see the kind of iconic Cape Lookout um, lighthouse. So the closer you get, you know that you're really close to the place where the boat drops you off and then goes away. So you are by yourself or with whoever you're with. They do have um, wild horses, but um, we didn't really see any except at the very beginning. That's not really what we were looking for. We were looking for low tide, which we came in perfect. And then we were gonna start looking for shells, just walking the mileage, doing what we needed to do. I love these guys. These, this is a lettered olive. Isn't that pretty? And that's a pretty full one. Well, when we take it home, we'll have to clean out the inner part of this right here. That's a good looking shell though, isn't it? This ugly thing is called a cannonball jellyfish. I'm not gonna turn it over because it can sting, but it's really big. It's about the size of a dinner plate. All those areas in front, these little tidal pools that show up just when the tide's going in or coming out. Right now, the tide is way out, which is what you want when you're shelling. But if you look down here, all of these can potentially find something. Now, you see how the, the pattern looks like that? That's a wind pattern. And sometimes that works in your favor, and other times it can cover it up. And then you see things like this, it'll drive you nuts because this is what we call, it's what we call a teaser. This is Scotch Bonnet Peace, the state shell of North Carolina and kind of a hard one to find hole. So sometimes when you get into these little areas, isn't that cool? Look at that. This is where I found that one sand dollar, which by the way, broke. So I'm currently sand dollarless. So it is, wait, holy crap, holy, what the heck? Check it out! Oh my, what the heck is, <gasps> look at this. Oh my, oh my, sorry, glad I got this. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Oh, look, look. Oh, it's a pear whelk. Guys, that's a pear whelk. Those are really unusual. We don't usually find them. Check that out. Now, where are we going to put this? <laughs> put it on my hand. Keep it on your hand. And now, don't move. We'll make the boat come and get you. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Those are great finds. Okay, so this is this is where we decided to rest. Is that not a cool spot? Nancy, how high do you think those dunes are? About 10 feet. About 10 feet. Go ahead and climb them. Heck no. <laughs> so we took all the shells out. And um, I'm going to try and come around here so that we can quickly point some out. Um, we got lucky and we did find two really nice uh, sand dollars. And this is part of a helmet. We call it the teeth for obvious reasons. Tomorrow, um, I'm hoping that we can uh, get full helmets. This is a large helmet, but they also have them in these small. This is not a full one, obviously, but you can kind of see the teeth. And it's got a lot of sand and it's broken. So this probably won't make the cut to come back. We had a good day. We had a good day today. Um, so we are very close to where the ferry is going to pick us up in about maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. We've walked about a little over three miles, about 3.28 miles. And um, we're going to show you the majority of the shells. We've got some really good finds today. So hang on and I'll be, I just want to turn the camera around. So here's the final haul for today, the first day. So you'll see 
over here in the corner, those are the lettered olives. And they all look good. They've got all got the point on them to the Dersinia, some smaller ones, some project. See the big pair of whelk um, right in the center there. And behind that is the um, sand dollar. Got the horse conch there. We have this really pretty, the colors on that um, Venus is wonderful. Um, and then some other shells that we're using for projects. So oh, no, those are the pen shells. She got a couple of them. This is the heart because we love shelling for tomorrow. <laughs>